breaking news, Nigerians. They say one that shall never cease to end. Though. This issue of President Bola and Metinobo forgeries here and there is taking another dimension. Even to the extent that the company said he worked for, they have denied them all. They have denied them. You understand? Deloitte denied ever knowing or having any Bola a Tinubu in their employment, according to Atiku Abubaka. Now you talk this one. When I know say President Bola and Metinubu don't they talk, say he work with this you know, firm and all that. Now they don't deny him. Nigerians, this is taking too much to be a joke. Welcome back to Prospects Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. President Bola Ahmed Tinubu allegedly started in his 1990, stated in his 1999 affidavit, which was submitted to run for governor of Lagos State, that he had gained professional experience with Arthur Anderson Accounting, Deloitte, and Mobi Nigeria. This was according to Alaji Atiku Abubakar, the PDP's presidential candidate. However, he noted that like Chicago State University, Deloitte had categorically denied knowing about or having worked with anyone by the name of Bola A. Tinubu. He said, he said this in a press statement reported by Punch newspaper, Bola A. Tinubu claimed in his 1999 affidavit to context for the position of governor of Lagos State that he had a working experience with Arthur Anderson Accounting Deloitte and Mobi Nigeria. It ends up that both claims on Arthur Anderson and Deloitte in the U.S. are false because his footprints are nowhere to be found in those corporations. Like Chicago State University, Deloitte denied ever knowing or having any Bola A. Tunubu in their employment, he has since stopped adding that to his official or public record since his exposure. Now the question is, who is President Bola Ahmed Tinubu? That is the question. If the Chicago State University denied issuing him results that he submitted in uh, to Nigerian INEC and the company he has claimed he worked for has also denied of knowing anyone called Bola Ame Tinubu. Nigerian, so who is this Bola Ame Tinubu? You know, say, so we they take some things, uh, we they take things like in all matter. There are things you don't take in all matter. These things matter a lot. These things matter a lot. Because this thing, these things, when we they see, it not be anything. By the time when that thing will hit Nigeria and it will come penetrate you, if it hits Nigeria as a country, it will get to you. Because one day, one day, you go get something to do, whether outside Nigeria or whatever. All these things will come. When they deal with you, and at that time, now you go come to remember, say, hey, this is really very bad. You understand? Even with all these, all these things now, all these things that you they see, I mean, they see you. People see the talk say no matter. People see the talk say na lie. Even the president they don't talk say na lie. President Bola Metinubu himself have said it. He said the Supreme Court should, you know, disregard uh, the vice president Atiku Abubakar's petition talking about the fraud Chicago State University. Because it was not included in the initial uh, petition, in the uh, presidential election petition court. You see? And people are saying it's a lie. So if it's a lie, why will he make such a, a statement? You see, eh? Nigeria, with the way we are going, we're not going to go anywhere. Because we are being blinded by tribalism. We are being blinded by, you know, what we are getting now. You don't even think about the future of the country. No, they don't think about these people. They don't care about the future of the country. 
when you talk, they say they eh, you be from one part of the region. Everybody could be from that one part of the region. Some person go come and come and tell me, say, I'm able. Because I am saying the truth. When you are saying the truth, you don't be a uh, Peter will be supporter. No, I am not supporting anybody. I am good with anybody who will give us good governance. I am good with anybody who will come with cook, clean hands to protest. I am good with anybody who will not go shortcut. Say you want to mago mago to have your way. That we deal with our, our, our younger ones to come. They are looking at us. Look at what is happening in the northern part of the country. Talking about the banditry business there. Papa, grandfather, grandchild, everybody are now with guns. You know why? Because of the way those people were treated. They don't see and say, after all, the government not to do them anything. We will survive with this. If people are surviving with this kind of life, why can't we enter the business? And everybody now don't enter the business. In the northern part of the country, they could tell you, say, only in Zamfara, they have 1,000 groups of banditry. You say you they compensate some. This and this. How many groups are you going to compensate? So you see, because at that initial time, the government was not proactive about it. I don't know whether they don't start now, but I just, I'm just talking about what has been going on. You understand? If not, those people, they for no still they exist. Now come back to the certificate forgery. If this is not addressed, people are going to be seeing it like no need of going to school. If you just get admission, no, your name don't they the school say you get admission. You go count your years, you don't forge your certificate, they go where you they go. After all, somebody forged a certificate to become a governor, somebody forged a certificate to become a senator in the same country, and he ended in being a president. So what else? Why must you go to school? So you see, if this is not addressed, Nigeria is, a, is in a sorry state. Because all these things are going to be coming up every now and then. May God have mercy on us. So guys, let's hear from you. What's your take on this? Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please, do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you.